Hey y'all, so today's October 22nd daily reading. So I mentioned before that I was going to try to give you the verses because it is a chronological Bible where we're not, well, some of the verses are not as they are in our, and I'm doing air quotes, like, you know, the Bible that we use now, right? The, the regular traditional Bible. Okay. So with that being said, I think what I'm going to do is give you what the description is, the, the title of the stories are. And then when we get to those, I will give it to you again, but I will also give you the verses that are accompanied with it. So we have the stories today. Story of the Vineyard Workers. Yeshua again predicts his death. Yeshua teaches about serving others. Yeshua heals two blind men. Yeshua heals blind um, Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus, sorry. Yeshua and Zacchaeus. And story of the ten servants so now when we go through them i will give you the verses sorry the verses that go with them so get your love letters and let's go story of the vineyard workers matthew 20 verses 1 through 16 for the kingdom of heaven is like a land owner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. Now when he had agreed with the laborers for a denarius a day, he sent them into his vineyard and he went out about a third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said to them, you also go into the vineyard and whatever is right, I will give you. So they went. Again, he went out in about the sixth hour and the ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing idle and said to them, Why have you been standing here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one hired us. He said to them, You also go into the vineyard and whatever is right, you will receive. So when evening had come, the owner of the vineyard said to his steward, Call the laborers and give them their wages, beginning with the last to the first. And when those came who were hired about the eleventh hour, they each received a denarius. But when the first came, they supposed that they would receive more, and they likewise received each a denarius. And when they had received it, they complained against the landowner saying, these last men have worked only one hour and you have made them equal to us who have been born and burdened in the heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for denarius? Take what is yours and go your way. I wish to give to the last man the same as to you. Is it not lawful for me to do what I wish with my own things? Or is it your eye evil because I am good? So the last will be first and the first last. For many are called, but few are chosen. So deep. Yeshua again predicts his death. Mark 10 verses 32 through 34. Now when they were on the road going up to Jerusalem and Yeshua was going before them and they were amazed and they followed and they were afraid. Then he took the 12 aside again and began to tell them things that would happen to him. Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be betrayed by the chief priest and two scribes, and they will condemn him to death and deliver him 
to the Gentiles. And they will mock him and scourge him and spit on him and kill him. And the third day he will rise again. Matthew 20 verses 17 through 19. Now Yeshua going up to Jerusalem took the twelve disciples aside the road and said to them, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be betrayed, and the chief priest and to the scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and deliver him to the Gentiles to mock and to scourge and to crucify. And the third day he will rise again. If you've noticed, this is the third time now that we're reading a similar verse because the same story are in Matthew, Mark, and now Luke. So it's Luke 18, verses 31 through 34. Then he took the twelve aside and said to them, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and all things that are written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man will be accomplished. For he will be delivered to the Gentiles and will be mocked and insulted and spit on. They will scourge him and kill him. And the third day he will rise again. But they understood none of these things. This saying was hidden from them and they did not know the things which were spoken. So one thing you can ask yourself is why is it only in Luke Matthew and Mark. Why is it not in John? It's just an observation for a deeper study. Yeshua teaches about serving others. This is in Mark 10 verses 35 through 45. When James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to him saying, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. And he said to them, what do you want me to do for you? They said to him, grant us that we may sit one on your right hand and the other on your left, your glory. But Yeshua said to them, you do not know what you ask. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They said to him, we are able. So Yeshua said to them, you will indeed drink the cup that I drink and with the baptism I am baptized, with you will be baptized. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it is prepared. And when the ten heard it, they began to greatly displease with James and John. But Yeshua called them to himself and said, You know that you are considered rulers over the Gentiles, Lord over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. Yet, it shall not be so among you, but what whoever desires to become great among you shall be your servant. And whoever desires to be first shall be slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life like a ransom for many. Matthew 20, verses 20 through 28. Then the mother of Zebedee's came to him with her sons, kneeling down and asking something from him. And he said to her, what do you wish? And he said to her, what, what do you wish? She said to him, grant that these two sons of mine may sit on your right hand and on the other on your left hand in your kingdom. But Yeshua answered and said, You do not know what you ask. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? 
They said to him, We are able. He said to them, You will indeed drink my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give. But it is for those whom it is prepared by my father. And when the ten heard it, they were greatly displeased with the two brothers. But Yeshua called them to himself and said, You know that the ruler of the Gentiles, the Lord, is over them. And those who are great exercise authority over them, yet it shall be among you. But whoever desires to become great among you, let him be your servant. And whoever desires to be first among you, let him be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give him life, his life, a ransom for many. So if you notice, that same story was in Mark and Matthew. Yeshua heals two blind men, Matthew 20, verses 20 through 20, 29 through 34. Now, when they went out to Jericho, a great multitude followed him. And behold, two blind men sitting on the road. And when they heard Yeshua's passing by, cried out, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, son of David. Then a multitude warned them that they should be quiet. But they cried out loud all the more, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, son of David. So Yeshua stood still and called them and said, What do you want me to do for you? They said to him, Lord, that our eyes may be open. So Yeshua had compassion and touched their eyes. And immediately their eyes received sight and they followed him. Yeshua heals blind Bartimaeus, Mark 10, verses 46 through 52. Now, when they came to Jericho, as he went out of Jericho with his friends, sorry, with his disciples and a great multitude, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the road begging. And when he heard that it was Yeshua of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Yeshua, son of David, have mercy on me. Then many warned him to be quiet, but he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. So Yeshua stood still and commanded him to be called. Then they called the blind man, saying to him, Be of good cheer, rise, he is calling you. And throwing aside his garment, he rose and came to Yeshua. So Yeshua answered and said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, Rabboni, which means rabbi, teacher, what that I may receive my sight. Then Yeshua said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and follow Yeshua on the road. This is also in Luke 18, verses 35 to 43. Then it happened as he was coming near Jericho that a certain blind man sat by the road begging. And hearing a multitude passing by, he asked what it meant. So they told him that Yeshua Nazareth was passing by and he cried out saying, Yeshua, son of David, have mercy on me. Then those who went before warned him that he should be quiet, but he cried out all the more. Son of David, have mercy on me. So Yeshua stood still and commanded him to be brought to him. Then he had come near, he asked him saying, what do you want me to do for you? He said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. Then Yeshua said to him, Receive your sight, your faith has made you well. 
and immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise to God. Yeshua and Zacchaeus, Luke 19, verses 1 through 10. Then Yeshua entered and passed through Jericho. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he sought to see who Yeshua was. But could not because the crowd for was so because of the crowd for he was short a statue he began to he ran ahead and he climbed up on a sycamore tree to see him for he was going to pass that away he was going to pass that way. Sorry. And when Yeshua came to the place, he looked up and he saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, He has gone to a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I have, I give half of my goods to the poor. And if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. And Yeshua said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which is lost. Now this is our last story for today. Story of the Ten Servants, Luke 19, verses 11 through 27. Now when they heard these things, he spoke another parable because he was near Jerusalem and because they thought the kingdom of God would appear immediately. Therefore he said a certain noble man went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. So when he called ten of his servants, delivered to them ten minas, and said to them, Do business till I come. But the citizens hated him, and sent a delegation after him, saying, We will not have this man reign over us. And so it was when he returned, having received the kingdom, he then commanded those these servants to come whom he had given the money. He called to them that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first saying, Master, your mina has earned 10 minas. And he said to him, well done, good servant, because you were faithful in a very little have authority over ten cities. And the second came saying, Master, your mina has earned five minas. Likewise, he said to him, you will be over five cities. Then another came saying, Master, here is your mina, which I have kept put away in a handkerchief. For I fear because you are an austere man. You collect what you did not deposit and reap what you did not sow. And he said to him, Out of your mouth I will judge you, you wicked servant. You knew that I was coming. You knew that I was an austere man, collecting what I did not deposit and reaping what I did not sow. Why then did you not put my money in the bank that at my coming I might have collected it with interest? And he said to those that stood by, take the mina from him and give it 
to him who has ten minas. But they said to him, Master, he has ten minas. For I say to you that to everyone who had who has will be given, and from him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. But bring here those enemies of mine who did not want me to reign over them and slay them from before me. Y'all might have to read that story again to get a deep understanding. And honestly, that is our love letters. You're gonna have to read and reread and read some more. Study to show that self-approved. Today were the daily reads for October 22nd. If there is anyone who has not chosen Yah to be your Lord and your Savior, today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow is not promised. Tonight isn't promised for some. So while you still have breath in your body, won't you choose him? going to read to you a salvation verse or verses that I really like. It's in Romans 10, starting with 9, that if thou confess with thy mouth Yeshua and shall believe in thy heart that God have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes on him shall not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich to all that call upon him. For whoever shall call upon the name of Yah shall be saved. If you will only cry out to him with a humble heart and truly believe he has done what he said he has done, you will be saved. You must repent or likewise perish. I love you all. Go in peace. Be the salt and the light that he's called you to be. Shalom.